British Columbia has raked in nearly a billion dollars, as it turns out, in economic benefit because of the 2010 Olympic Games. But that is so far. The question tonight is, will the money, the jobs, and the opportunities keep on flowing, or will the promised Olympic payoff fall short? There's a new report tonight that claims the province is on track to reap both social and economic benefits when the final Olympic medals have been handed out. But what this report offers in good news is tempered by the many questions it does not answer. A News Legislature reporter Shachi Curl has our top story. Until 14 months ago, the planning, building and job creation that comes with the 2010 Games was good for BC, earning this province about a billion dollars and tens of thousands of hours of employment for its workers. Those are some of the conclusions from a report by audit firm PricewaterhouseCoopers, and the Campbell government was quick to boost the message. And it showed uh, an impact in all sectors. Uh, we've had uh, in construction uh, and various others, I think it's, we're doing well. But here's the thing, the report only measured the benefits the Olympics brought between 2003 and 2008, a time when the BC economy was on fire anyway, and put into context, the results might be described as a little milk toast. Consider, the billion dollars the Games brought over those five years amount to less than 1% of the value of BC's GDP, the total value of the economy. And the three to 4,000 jobs created? Well, keep in mind, this province employs about 2 million people at any given time. There are other issues with this report, namely no comparison of the money we've spent on the Games to how much has been earned. The true cost of uh, the Olympics has uh, skyrocketed. Uh, some would actually argue that's close to $8 billion. One place the report says the pre-Games period hasn't measured up at all, tourism earnings. Visitors just haven't been coming to BC before the Games. And it shows that the government had missed those marketing opportunities. And as a result, it also shows that we didn't maximize our full potential. The tourists are expected to show up en masse after the Games, and that is just what the province is banking on. Stuck deep in a recession, BC's real Olympic reward is far from certain. In February, the finance minister told us it was $10 billion. The total economic impact once the games are done has been projected by independent sources to be as much as ten billion dollars. Yesterday Colin Hansen backed off that figure. We are talking literally billions of dollars of benefit. Uh, how how many billion? Well I think it depends on what you look at. Still BC's Olympics minister still maintains the cash will come. What I've been saying is four billions in direct spin off and uh, direct benefits which is huge. I mean four billion is incredible especially at this time in this economy. So, will going for gold actually earn BC gold? Or will taxpayers finish last at the Games? Those answers are for another report. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.